Welcome back to the channel and welcome to 2023. Our first video of the year is going to be how to make the Spring Festival blouse shown here on Grace Marie Fitzpatrick. The Spring Festival pattern was created in collaboration with the Virtual Doll Convention Club Grace subscription program. If you're interested in learning more about that program, please look for the link in the description below. The Spring Festival top was an Asian inspired idea to celebrate not only Chinese New Year, but also the Spring Festival. The top features short sleeves, two front vents, and a swan neck collar. Let's go ahead and get started by identifying the pattern pieces and the fabric that I've chosen to do the project. Here are the pattern pieces that we're going to be using today to get the spring festival top constructed and as you can see i've chosen some really great fabric this is actually a cotton with a metallic overlay on it which i think is going to be perfect for the pants and this is actually for the top i love this small print with an oriental inspiration and gold leafed through the actual floral pattern so i think that's going to be a really really good fabric choice for our construction today our pattern pieces include the back of the top, the front of the top, and the side front. This is constructed using a front and back facing as well as a two-part sleeve. So now that we've identified the pattern pieces for the project, let's go ahead and get started. Our first step is going to be to sew the darts in the back sections of the blouse. I found an easy way to mark the placement for darts on dark fabric by folding the pattern piece in half where the dart stops and starts and then just laying it onto your actual pattern piece and putting a pin both at the beginning and the end of the dart. That way you know exactly where that dart placement is going to be and you don't lose it in the print of the fabric. Remember to leave the strings long enough on those darts so that you can tie them off before you take it over to the ironing board. Next, we'll grab the front section as well as the side front section, clip in towards the curved edge of the pieces and sew them together. You will notice on the pattern pieces that there is a front vent where the side front and the front come together. So make sure that when you're doing that seam, you reinforce at the vent mark. We're gonna take those pieces over to the ironing board and press that seam open, and then we'll bring it back over to the sewing machine and top stitch the front vent.
Next, we're gonna go ahead and grab the sleeve pieces. We'll attach the back sleeves to the back sections of the top and the front to the front sections of the top right here at the armhole opening. With our sleeves sewn in place, we're gonna take it over to the ironing board and press those seams open. And then we're gonna bring it back to the sewing machine and sew the front and back sections together at the top of the sleeve. Next, take your front pieces and pin them to your back pieces at that sleeve top, and then we'll get that seam sewn. For the next step, we're gonna clip in towards that seam allowance and press that seam open. Then we'll actually get that sleeve hemmed and I'm gonna be using a narrow hem on the sleeve. At this stage in the construction, you can really start to see the shape of our top coming together. So the next step is gonna to be to place it right sides together, front and back, and sew that side seam. Here's our progress up to this point, and I think things are coming together really, really well. I hope that you're finding it pretty easy so far, and you may be wondering why I haven't sewn the top together at the front. 
Well, I did this design and I tried that method of actually sewing the front sections together first, but it seemed really, really difficult with this size scale. So I found a unique and different way to put the top together, which I think you will really, really enjoy the actual results. So next we're gonna take our facing pieces, both the uh, front of the neck facing as well as the back, and we're gonna sew those together right there at the shoulder seam. And then I'll show you why we left that front of the top open. With the left and right neck facing open, we're gonna take those pieces and place it on the front of the bodice on both sides and sew around the neck. You do want to note at the center of the neck that you are making a curve in towards that center edge. So you will have a little bit of facing left over and we are actually going to sew that together when we sew that center front seam. Because we'd really like the collar to lay nice and flat to the doll's neck as well as keep the facing hidden we're going to do a little bit of under stitching so the first thing you want to do is look at your seam allowance and you could clip it down just a little bit but remember we want to sew to it so you don't want to make it too narrow once you've actually trimmed it down some you're going to make some alternating clips in both the top and the bottom of that actual facing layer and then we're going to actually do the under stitching so you can just take a few clips alternating as you go. You do want to do this step before you actually press the collar edge. Now, we are only going to be able to understitch probably within maybe about an inch of that bottom and it still will create a really, really nice collar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch from the top of the uh, garment and so that I can see where the ditch is here or where the actual seam allowance is. And I'm just going to take a small stitch all the way around, uh, opening that seam up the best that I can, and then stopping about an inch, like I said, to, um, before the raw edge at the bottom. And then when we actually turn the collar in towards the garment, it's gonna make a really, really nice finish. So I'm gonna do those steps now, and then we'll move on to the next step. With our under stitching in place, we're gonna take our iron and get a nice crisp edge of that collar. And then we're gonna sew the two pieces together at the center front seam.
We're going to clip in towards that seam allowance, press that seam open, and press the facing to the inside of the top. You will notice that that center front seam actually creates almost an, a reverse L, and that's because you want the facing to lay flat on the inside of the actual top. So I'm going to clip in towards that cornered edge right there, which is where the front of the top is meeting on the right side, and then add a few clips down the front before I press it open. So this is how it's coming together on the outside, which I think looks great. Nice finished edge at the very uh, base of that opening. And when you turn it to the inside, you can see that it's also laying flat right there, which I think really turned out pretty great. So from here, you are gonna add some beads to the front of the neck so that you can create more of an uh, Asian inspiration look. Next, I'm gonna take a zigzag stitch along both back openings and along the hem edge of the top all the way to the other side and up the other back opening. Once I have that in place, I'm gonna create a narrow hem and then we're gonna get a quick fit to our doll. Let's turn that hem edge up and get it top stitched. As promised, here's a quick fit to our Grace doll to see how the project's turning out so far. And I think it looks fantastic. So you can see we have the slits at the opening here, which I think look great. We are gonna add a bead to uh, the neckline just to give it a little bit more of an Asian flair. And then as we turn it over, the left back opening is gonna be turned under a quarter of an inch and we're gonna have to sew that center back seam. So, so far, I think everything's coming together great and I love the way that it looks. From here, we'll finish our project by adding that center back seam, stopping at the dot as indicated on the pattern, putting a couple of snaps to the back and getting those final photographs on our gray doll. That brings us to the end of another sewing tutorial, and I think Grace looks great in her new Spring Festival top. There is a companion video for how to do the pants from that pattern as well, and I'll leave a link to that in the description below. As always, I thank you guys for your time and for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.